In this video guys, I'm going to be showing how to get an FPS boost, make your game look cleaner, and all of the above. But guys, I just want to say, I'm sorry for the mic quality in this video. I don't know what happened. Mic quality will be back to normal next video. Enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome back to another video of CDV. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get an FPS boost, make your game look better, and a, lit a slight ping reduce. Guys, these are some simple steps that are, co that are completely updated for Chapter 2, Season 3. Obviously, there's a few di there's a few different uh, methods I'm going to be showing you guys for my past FPS boosts. Uh, I will leave other ones in a playlist for my other FPS boosts. But these guys, make sure if you guys are willing to use my code, please use code CDB, hashtag add. Also, please follow my Twitch. I, I try to stream whenever I can. It's bloody brilliant if you guys would follow my Twitch. Also, make sure to subscribe and like. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing you guys wanna do to kind of make the game look better, because as you guys probably know, with the new season, everything seems a lot darker and more dull, especially in the night. The night is horrible. I can't see anyone at night. But what I saw from Destiny Jesus is that if you crank this up, your brightness up to 125, or you could also go to 150, but I like 125 just because 150 looks a bit too bright. But if you put if you put your brightness to there, it will you'll be able to see other players a lot easier. And also another thing, turn off colorblind mode. I know what you're thinking, but if we turn off colorblind mode, won't be able to see in the storm. Uh, would have been correct last season and all the season before that, but this season they've changed it. So you should not, if you want to use colorblind mode, you should only use it if you're colorblind because you because they in this season if you go to like Detronote 10, storm is a lot harder to see through, a lot harder to see through, harder than when it's off, or just any colorblind mode as well. I believe that the reason why Epic changed this is because of they want the viewing to look a lot more pleasant than uh, what people view on Twitch last season, where it was just people would watch, people would just watch it in Death Note 10, which I did not like Death Note 10. I, feel, I thought I couldn't see anyone, but luckily this season you should turn it off as you can't see anyone. But I have a fix so you can still see through Storm. So, so what you want to do to get that is to go to get exit out of the game, right click your desktop, NVIDIA control panel. You'll be greeted to this page. Make sure you go to adjust, adjust desktop color settings. And then from here, make sure you click on your main monitor. This is mine. And your brightness will be at 50%. You want to put it to 55%. Your contrast will be at 50%. You want to put it to 55%. The gamma should stay at one, and your digital vibrance should be at 60%. Uh, your hue also should be zero. Just copy all of these settings. So your brightness just makes the game look brighter, which is brilliant. The contrast makes uh, the game have a kind of depth of color, and the digital vibrance helps you see through storm, which is brilliant. So as you guys may know, you've probably experienced FPS drops, and the reason because of this is this season they've made it so record replays take up so much performance on your PC. As you guys can see here, turning replay recording on such off when on replays are recorded are stored after each match. Recording replays can reduce performance and take up hard drive space. So if you run out of hard drive space and you notice an FPS drops, turn off record replays, especially turn off these two. These two you probably don't need unless you're a big Team Rumble player and you love Team Rumble. Turn that off and creative unless you want some creative replays. I recommend turning all of them off. But I know what you're saying. But I'm a competitive player. I want to be able to VOD review without having to record my games. Fair enough. So turn back on record replays. Only if you want a VOD review. Then go to your career. Replays. Make sure you always just press confirm whenever it asks you this and open replay folder do all of these what you want to do get all of them there 
press delete like that and then just refresh and you have no replays this will, this will having replays takes up so much unnecessary space and performance but i please i recommend unless you're if you're playing for some pubs or if you're going for like big kills or arena and you're not going to vod review it turn off record replays it takes up so much space and i don't want you guys to be on high f a uh, low fp next up on the list is the in game settings so your windowed mode should be full screen the reason why i have windowed full screen is because for some reason my pc doesn't let me record on full screen so i turn it windowed full screen but you should have it on full screen uh just purely because of the fact that you can it lets you have uh, uh yeah uh, because it lets you slightly run faster in full screen mode you cannot interact with other windows as easily but the game will run slightly faster turn it on to full screen if you are a competitive player and you don't want to record videos so next is your resolution so you can be able to change this when you're on full screen i'd keep it on that but if you guys are noticing fps drops still turn it down one down uh, down a notch your it will just change how the game uh, looks a bit a little bit more pixelated your frame rate so if you are if you have a 30 hertz monitor i doubt anyone will but if you have a 30 hertz monitor whack it to 60 fps if you're on a 60 hertz monitor whack it to 120 fps if you're on a 120 fps monitor whack it 144 fps if you're on 144 hertz monitor whack it to 160 hertz one fps you kind of see how this is going you know if every monitor you just whack it up a notch all of these but if you're on a 240 hertz monitor don't turn it up to unlimited because unlimited will make your game stutter more as you'll be running you won't be running consistent fps so put it on to 240. i keep mine on 240 just like that so the next thing is the user interface controls this doesn't matter whatsoever as you can see it just changes a bit i keep mine like that i just don't like it on it just looks a bit ugly next is color by mode we've already talked about that and now on to your quality presets so the first thing you guys want to do is go to custom and put this all no not go to custom go to quality presets and put this all on low get your 3d resolution whack it all the way up to 100 put your view distance view distance doesn't really matter that much it doesn't show how far away players are or anything I would put it on Epic because for some reason when I put it on Epic it gives me better FPS than what it would give me if it was on uh, low. For some reason it does but everything else should stay on the bottom one. Make sure to always hit apply. Your VSync, uh, I recommend turning VSync off if you're because all VSync does is matches your FPS with your Hertz but I've already spoke about what your frame rate limit should be so don't turn on VSync. Your motion blur always should be off. Obviously, you can't turn motion blur off on some consoles, uh, but you should turn it off on uh, Fortnite PC and whatever console you can turn it on. Show FPS, you can have that on if you really want. I don't see the problem with not having it on. I just like to see how, many, how much FPS I'm on. DirectX version. If you do not want your game to crash every 10 minutes, put on DirectX, DirectX version 11. But if you're a bit of a risk taker, put it on DirectX 12. I don't like it i'll keep it on uh directx 11 but now on to probably the most confusing part about this whole thing it is allow multi-thread rendering if you have a cpu with only two cores turn this off but if you have a cpu with i think i think you'll a four and above cores Make sure to turn it on, which will make your game run faster. If you can't be bothered to check, you can't bother to look up to check, keep it off. <laughs> but yeah, use GPU crash debugging, always have that off. It'll just take up more more space, at, uh, more performance, it just won't be very it just won't, won't be worth it. Make sure to hit apply and press escape. Now on to the last tip, unfortunately you cannot do this on console, but the last tip is to go to your windows, type run, percent, 10 percent, okay. Get all of this all the way up. 
press delete. Let's continue whenever it asks you to. Just press do these current items. If, they, if it doesn't work, just press skip. And then you're done. So then what you want to do is then a different thing, go to run again, get rid of the percents. Go to your temp and delete these. Done. Make sure, a lot of people forget this, go to your recycle bin. All the way up and just delete so they're actually off your PC. Temp files are completely useless to you. So, I know this video was a, a, a decently long video that I've had in a while, but please make sure to like, subscribe, follow my Twitch, and please use my code, hashtag ad. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys got a slight FPS boost off this. I love everyone who watched this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Hmm.